Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about interaction. So now I want to show you how to answer. We can use about interaction by trigonometric substitution. So I will put about s equal to number 2 side t because if I put this one going here, we have 4 side t square, number 4, number 4. We can do about factorization 1 minus side t square, we change by cos side t square, and later that we simplify the square root and ds. Now we do first derivative for the both side and we have ds equal to number 2 cos t dt. Next, I need to change the bounds. So when s equals to number 1, that's it from here. So I will put number 1 cone here. So 1 and we divide both sides by number 2. And now we can find the value of t equal to our side of 1 over 2. And that is about b over 6. Now, when s equals to 6 over 5, and we put number 6 over 5 going here, and we divide both sides by number 2, and we have t equal to arc side of 3 over 5. So number 1, we change by this one. 6 over 5, we change by this one. S, we change by this one. and this one. The ask we change by this one. So, this one we have four side t square. Number four and number four we can do about factorization. This one we have cos t square. The square root of this one we have two cos t. And now we simplify. This one we have 16 side t to the power of 4. So I will put number 16 go outside. Now we have the formula in here. 1 over psi t equal to cosecant of t. Now we need to transform this one into this one. So that should be about cosecant of t to the power of 4. Next, we have the second formula in here. That is about cosecant of t square equals to cotang t square plus 1. Now, this one we can put into cosecant of t square multiplied by cosecant of t square. So, this one we change by this one. Now, we can use another integration by substitution. So, I will put about z equal to cotan t. Later that, we do first derivative for the both sides. 
and we have negative cosecant of t square dt because we don't have the negative sign in here so I will put the negative go to the left Now, we need to change the bounds. So, when t equals to b over 6, that's it in here. So, I will put b over 6 going here to find the value of z. So, z equals to the square root of number 3. So when t equals to arc side of 3 over 5. So I will put this one cone here and we have z equals to 4 over 3. Now we have this one. So b over 6 we change by this one. This one we change by this one. Cotan t we change by z square. This one we change by negative dz. Now we have the final answer. The interaction of z square we have z to the power of number 3 over 3. Number 1, that is about z. And I will put the bounds from the square root of number 3 over 4 over 3. And now we have the final answer. So I will put this one going here and here. This one I will put in here and here. And that is the final answer. Here is about the full answer of the question in here.